The former fiancé of the man murdered by Kenneth Noy in the M25 road rage attack has spoken of her fear of an assassination attempt ordered by the gangster after police warned her of a £1 million price on her head. Danielle Cable, who was with Stephen Cameron when Noy stabbed him to death at an interchange near Swanley, Kent in May 1996, has been living under a new identity under the Witness Protection Scheme since she helped police to identify Noy in 1998. Speaking publicly for the first time since Noy was sentenced to life imprisonment at the Old Bailey last week, Miss Cable, 23, said she lived in constant fear of her life. Quote, I have to live from day to day, wondering if I'm being watched or followed. I will always live in fear of Kenny Noy and what he could do to me if he ever found out where I lived, end quote. Two years after Mr Cameron's murder, detectives flew Miss Cable to southern Spain to identify the man suspected of killing her fiancé. She told the Mail on Sunday of spotting Noy in a restaurant, quote, There were lots of people and I was shaking. I saw him straight away. I just looked at him. I felt hatred. My stomach was churning and my heart was pounding. I felt I wanted to say something, but no words would have come out anyway, end quote. Two weeks after she returned, police told her to go on holiday for her safety. Quote, I never went back home. I haven't been back since, end quote. In her new life, she often wears a wig to disguise herself and will be photographed only in silhouette. I have lost twice, Stephen and my old life, she said. I haven't seen two of my brothers since I was relocated and I didn't see my mother for four months. Miss Cable is planning to marry a soldier who has helped her to recover from witnessing the stabbing. Quote, I always said I would never love anybody again, but I met someone and although I love him in a different way, he is brilliant. End quote. Scotland Yard yesterday refused to comment on reports that Noy 52 is being investigated in connection with a string of gangland murders. According to the reports, detectives believe that the South London car dealer John Marshall, found shot dead in his Range Rover a few days after Noy fled to Spain, may have been killed on his orders. Marshall is believed to have supplied Noy with false number plates and papers for the Land Rover he was driving when he killed Mr Cameron. Noy is said to have ordered Marshall's murder before he could be questioned by police. Noy has also been linked to the shooting of Daniel Roth, found dead in his car outside his house in Bromley, Kent in March 1997. Roth was suspected of being involved in the murder of Noy's close friend, the great train robber Charlie Wilson.